All right, welcome back. So here we are, we're in module 10. Now, in module 10, we're going to deal with binary search trees. And there's an expectation if you've gotten to this point, you're watching this video, you've watched the module 10 lecture video. These are exercise videos. So you have the foundations of binary search trees already before we get into this. Okay. Um, one little refresh, reminder. For binary search tree, we're going to use this binary search tree linked list. All right. So it's a linked list. And if you think back to linked lists, we have a node. And if it's a doubly linked list, it has a pointer on the front pointing to the node ahead and a pointer on the tail pointing to the node behind. The difference being, if we're talking about a binary search tree, the node head points to one node. At the tail of the node, there are now two pointers one to the left and one to the right. That's our binary aspect. Okay. So we're going to have a right and a left. And we see that here. Okay. This code right here, we're actually going to reuse this um, almost identical code over and over and over and over and over. So much of the beginning of this will conceptually we'll use. All right. So with that said, you know what? I'm just going to rob, rob this. Just borrow. All right. And we'll come down to where we've got to do our thing. We'll start out here with the pre-order one. So I'm going to create this empty list. It's an instance of a list. I'm going to define in here our recursive and in here, I don't need levels. I just need the node. I'm not going to have an S. So let me get my indentation spot on. There we go. So at this point, if node is not none, Before we go further, I'm going to try and save some time. So on each of them, we're going to have a cursive call to the root and return iter. So I want all of this, I want to paste it there, oops, did a heck of an indent on me, didn't it? Paste it here, there it goes, and I'll paste it there. So those same five lines of code just overall structure. It's going to be the same for all of these that we're going to do for the most part. So once we've done this condition, check to see if there is a node or there's not a node. So essentially here we're checking to see if there is a node there. We're going to say list.append node.data 
one down. Do a recursive. Node dot write. Curse. Node dot left. One for each node coming off the bottom of the tree or that node on our tree. So for each node on our tree, there's a potential left and right. So that's what we're looking at here. Hit delete, and that's our in order. Oop, that's not our in order, that's our pre-order. Cut that. back in pre-order. I didn't scroll up high enough when I went to go do what we had to do. So that's our pre-order. Let's come down to in order and in orders not far. So the first thing I want to do is I want to recurse that left node go from left to right. And then I'm going to do our append. Then I'm going to do our right. Okay. So there it is in order. going to do post order and on post order we'll start with left and then we'll do right and then we'll do our data Now, our level order. So, this is where we'll be a little bit different. Um, we don't need these. I only need the first one and the last one. I'm going to create a variable called Q. It's going to be instance of linked queue class. I'm going to say if not self dot is empty. So if this thing is not empty, then I want to add to it. So I'm going to say Q U E U E dot add self dot root. Okay, from there back up and we'll do our while we'll just go walk not it's not empty node equals Data. And then a condition. So if no dot left, or I said we start on the left, go to the right. It's not equal. 
equivalent to none. Check and see, is there something there? Then we'll add to the left. Now, if I'm just going to copy this whole little section because we're just going to do the same thing and change it to right. Okay. Now. At this point, we've got everything that we needed to do. We just got to return a list. So we went through to make sure that there was a left and a right on each one. It's all balanced out. Um, it says we go run the test BST file. Test it, see if it works. It says we've got an issue. Well, not Q is empty, line 89. Click on line 89. Oh, I forgot a dot in there. Go. Let's go back. It ran. Removed, removed, removed. So it's got 186. I don't have 186 lines in there. Do I? Do. It's not something I did. Let's go see. Is that all sorted the way they wanted it? Nope. Yes. Yes. And yes. So it's got a problem with pre order. Let me pause and go look to see what I've got going on. Uh, let's see what I did. Like I said, we've got to start left and then go right. We're left to right on all this. So I went pre-order, I had those swapped and now it took it. Boom. All right, we're all sorted for 10.1. I'll see you in 10.2.